Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. You may have noticed the title of this video, The Outdated Glock. Put the pitchforks away, I own several Glocks. I've always been a fan, and throughout the years, I've owned so many Glocks. I guarantee you, I've owned more Glocks than most of the people watching this video. But every time I feature a new handgun, someone says, that's a Glock copy. And it got me thinking, are all these new handguns and some older handguns, are they Glock copies? Is it because they have a polymer frame? Here's my Glock 19. I love this gun. I speak very highly of this gun. But Glock wasn't the first to come out with the polymer frame. HKVP70 was back in 1970. So who copied who? I'm watching these other manufacturers come out with all these features that people want in a handgun. Glock was late to the party, even with back straps or, or night sights in the case. Glock was late. We look at forward serrations, undercutting the trigger guard, you know, uh, optic ready handguns. These other manufacturers are coming out with these features on handguns for a much lower price than Glock. Most people buy a Glock with the expectation that they are going to upgrade the Glock and pay two, three, four hundred dollars to get it to the way they want it. And I think that's cool. I'm all for customization. But how can we say everything's a Glock copy? It seems to me that Glock is actually copying other manufacturers to stay up to date with what shooters want. Let's head over to the table and we'll take a look and talk a little bit more about my points here. Here's my Glock 19. It's a Gen 4. It has had some modifications done. First, it has night sights there. The finger grooves, which I could not stand, were shaved off. The trigger guard was undercut. All this was aftermarket. It does come with 15 round mags. We know that, and we love Glock mags. I don't think anybody could argue with that. However, this gun that used to sell for right around five and a quarter, 550, now sells on average right around $600. When people get this gun, they put a lot of money into it. In most cases, they do. And Glock has the aftermarket support like none other. But once you start putting money into it, you realize, you know, hey, they, this is adding up to a lot of dough. So let's take a look at some of these other handguns. Let's start here with the Lone Wolf LTD-19. Lone Wolf made, or they still make, aftermarket parts for Glock. They've done it for years, especially those conversion barrels. They do a great job with conversion barrels. I've owned several throughout the years. And frames and so many other parts, they decided to make their own handgun. They said, I, we think we can do it better. I'm just, that's me speaking, not Lone Wolf. But I think they did in many ways. They they made the grip a little more vertical. People complain about the grip angle on Glock, and they made it a little more vertical. I noticed that at the range right away. They kept many of the same features that people love about Glock, but I will say, ergonomically, this feels much better. I am very much confused why Glock hasn't slimmed down that grip because a lot of people will say it's very blocky well the three that i have here don't feel blocky at all and low wolf who does great work with frames parts grips you name it they were able to make this ltd 19 a little more featured you know it, it, it cost around 700 bucks it's only a hundred dollars more but they did use glock sights Okay, the field goal post front dot, but they had slide cutouts, forward serrations, a huge undercut in the trigger guard, stuck with the Glock trigger, a two slot pick rail instead of a one slot, and a steel guide rod. And at the range, this thing fires great. I think it looks cool, and I really like the way it feels in the hand. I have to believe a company that knows Glock as well as Lone Wolf does would create a phenomenal handgun and I think they did with the LTD-19. Here's an 80% Arms GST-9. I love what 80% Arms did with this. Now this also takes Glock bags, so does the LTD-19 by the way, and I mentioned that that's a great add-on to any handgun, Glock mags, but they also put cutouts in the slide. They made it optic ready, Use Glock sights, you know, I'd like to see some three dots. A full pick rail there. Undercut in the trigger guard once again. Gas pedal. 
thumb rest right there. It is on both sides. And out of the case, this offers so much more than your standard Glock 19. It has a great feel to it, not as blocky once again. Four inch barrel, and let's see, I can't remember. And they went with the polymer guide rod. But I do think this is a phenomenal handgun. And what they also did was they made an additional back strap that would drop down to right here so you can use the Glock 17 mags without having to purchase a full new gun like the 19X. Optic ready. So, you know, it, it offers what, what shooters want. They Once again, they stuck with the Glock trigger and most people don't have a problem with that. And if you don't like that, yeah, aftermarket, you can do it all day long. This one is really interesting. This is a Palmetto State Armory Dagger. This is most similar looking, feeling, weight-wise, as the original Glock 19. Does it have the reliability of the Glock 19? Not exactly sure at this moment. But the MSRP is $299. And once again, it uses Glock mags, which is always a bonus in my opinion. The one-slot rail, forward serrations, Three dot sights, they are all metal, and a steel guide rod. A lot of people switch out the guide rods. They don't like the polymer guide rods. The grip texturing, pretty fine. little finger groove there, and a hinged trigger. But when I took this to the range, I shot it very well. Love the Glock mags that they use. But this is half the price of the Glock 19. Like all right, $299. $5.99. We'll just keep it simple like that. And for half the price, if this thing proves to be reliable, which I, I think it will, all expectations are that it will. Some of the viewers of this channel said it's certainly reliable. Then this is a much better deal. Does it offer more? Yeah, a little bit. It has steel three dot sights, forward serrations, undercut in the trigger guard, same magazine, and I think a nicer grip texture. All three of these guns offer, in my opinion, more than the Glock 19 for not a lot more dough. You know, the, the, to, to get this to where you want it, you're, you're spending a ton of money. And some of these other manufacturers are pumping it out right out of the case. So, are these Glock copies? Yeah, yeah, they are Glock copies. They certainly copy the magazine, the, the barrel length, and many interchangeable parts. But did they make it better? That's the question. Did they make the original Glock 19 a more attractive handgun with the features that shooters want? And I say in most cases, that answer is absolutely yes. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.